It's homecoming week as the Tigers take on the University of Delaware Blue Hens. It's also time for the next edition of the Tiger Football Report. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. If you come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream, and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years to Wise Markets, and, and I'm loving every minute of it. Welcome, Tiger fans, to another edition of the Tiger Football Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with head coach Rob Ambrose. And coach, homecoming week. I know this is always a big week for you because a lot of your former teammates come back to campus. Uh, big crowd expected as the Tigers will take on the University of Delaware Blue Hens. What a perfect team to have for your homecoming, <laughs> except for the fact that they may be the hottest team in the CAA, not named James Madison. Uh, this is true, seriously. That um, they, They've been getting better and better every week. Uh, they've been playing exceptional defense, not good defense. They play an exceptional defense and been finding ways to win early in the season, doing just enough offensively to get by. But they made a change of quarterback that's really sparked, I don't want to say offensive success, but more like team confidence. At the, just go back to last year, you know, when Morgan gets hurt, he's out for a while, he comes back, and there's just confidence. His guys know that they And feel, you win three straight. We win three straight. Uh, this, the insertion of this new guy, quarterback, has kind of been what they need and a kind of a kick in the butt, and it's got everybody moving, especially offensively. But, yeah, I think you said it perfectly. They're the hottest team in the league. Uh, if, if they're not ranked, uh, actually, I believe they are ranked. They are. Now. They got into yeah. the top 25 this week. Yep. Once again, just another week in the CAA. Yeah. Only, a only seven CAA teams in the top 25 this week. The change they made, Joe Walker had been the quarterback for uh, the last couple of years and started this season as the quarterback, but they go to J.P. Caruso. What is different between those two? The skill sets aren't entirely different. It's, it, there's just a confidence that this guy carries that bleeds into everybody else. And, and it's awesome for an offense, but it's awesome for a team. And, you know, just go across any football team in America at any level. If your quarterback is one that plays well enough that his team believes in him strongly, they're probably a pretty good football team. They also have weapons <laughs> at the wide receiver position. Jamie Jarman was named the CAA Offensive Player of the Week, not because he caught the ball, but he ran for over 100 yards this past week and had a Sports Center highlight film on a touchdown that he scored against Richmond where he did a 360. Then in the backfield, you've got uh, uh, the kid Williams and Thomas Jefferson. Uh, I mean, they lose a running back early in the year, but they've reloaded. And then you got Cherry as a wide receiver. I mean, this is a team that offensively is very good. And we haven't even talked about their defense, which is in the top 20 nationally. <laughs> They're big up front on both sides of the ball. They're athletic. They're fast. 
And right now they're, they're getting into their stride of running their scheme about as well as it can be run. So it is, as you've seen in our past, you want to be a good team in September, a better team in October. And when you get to November, you really want to be playing their best ball. And as we're moving towards November, they really are playing their best ball. How much of it, how much of their scheme has changed with the coaching change this year from Dave Brock to uh, Danny Rocco? Offensively, it's a little different. It's not entirely different, but it's a little different, enough to be noticeable. Defensively, it's up front, it's monstrously different. It's, it's an entirely different scheme, and they play it very well. They don't do much. They really don't. They, don't. they don't blitz. They don't stunt. They don't slant. I mean, they do, but they do it 1%. They just line up their 11 guys. They know exactly what to do, how to do it, and they do it physical, and they do it fast. We mentioned in the earlier show Kobe Young had a nice game at running back. You, and, and you really need to run the ball because not only is it effective to keep Delaware off the field, but it also sets up other things for your offense. Mm -hmm. well, you, got, you, have, you have to be diverse. There isn't a team in America that throws at every play that is going to be able to win in the long run. They're going to put stats on the board. It's going to sound real sexy, but when it comes to playing physical tough games, getting physical tough yards, or getting into multiple playoff games, you can't live and die just chucking it you got to be physical enough to be able to run the ball, and you can't just run it either. Because if you do that, they'll pack the box with 11 guys, and you'll just lose on space. They'll throw bodies on the ground that you can't get by. So the ability to be diverse offensively is truly a key to success. And you're right, having the run game a little bit show up on Saturday, uh, that gave us a little more to work with. Now they got to defend more space. they got to defend more schemes. And we just need to keep progressing in that vein. You know, you, you talked about that just now, and you look at the national champions in FCS, and it was North Dakota State for five years, and Madison. Neither one of those two were one of these, you know, throw it 65 times a game. I mean, they both ran the football. Then you look at the FBS level, and you've got Alabama and Clemson. None of these run-and-shoot style teams ever win a championship. No, no. The, the, ones, the ones that spread it out and have found ways to run the ball and be physical have had a chance to win. That's all, that, truly, that in the end, that's what it is. And it's, it's a little bit about who you play when you get into these games, but it's more about the mentality of your team. If you live in a life of seven on seven, when the, then when it gets push come to shove, you're not good at pushing and you get shoved. So it's got to be a little bit of both. And, and even Craig Bowen and I talked about that. He said there's lots of great offensive weapons and lots of great offensive schemes, but are you trying to win stats? Are you trying to win a couple games? Are you trying to score a lot of points? Or are you trying to win championships and there's a difference in mentality and a difference you go about it and the proof is in the pudding in the history of college football you better figure out how to run the ball a little bit so you can defend it a little bit if you're going to be have a chance to win it all all right coach always a great week for all of us that it's homecoming as it will be this saturday at the u game time is four o'clock if you can't make it out to the u Gordy Combs and I will have the game for you on CBS Sports Radio 1300 starting at 345 with the pregame show and also on TowsonTigers.com. So for head coach Rob Ambrose, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the Tiger Football Report. And as always, go Tigers.